Do you ever wonder how a trademark matter between Coke and Pepsi would be handled if the drink names were virtually identical? The 1924 Supreme Court case of William R. Warner and Company versus Eli Lilly and Company gives us a pretty good idea in the context of a turn-of-the-century elixir. Eli Lilly was in the business of producing and selling pharmaceutical and chemical products. In 1899, it began to make and sell a drink called cocoquinine, which combined chocolate and quinine. Seven years later, a pharma and chemical company affiliate of William R. Warner & Company began to make and sell a virtually identical chocolate and quinine drink under the name Quin Coco. By this time, Eli Lilly had already established a market for its drink. Rather than doing the same for its drink on the merits, Warner and its employees sought to demonstrate to potential distributors that Quin Coco was virtually identical to Eli Lilly's drink, yet available at a cheaper cost. Warner's agents urged third-party pharmacies and others to substitute, or pass off, Warner's drink to fill orders placed for Lilly's drink, which they did. Eli Lilly sued Warner in district court for unfair competition and for allegedly infringing on its Coco Quinine name with the Quin Coco name. It sought to enjoin Warner from both using the name and from producing and selling the drink if it continued to be flavored or colored by chocolate. The court found for Warner on both counts. On appeal, the Third Circuit reversed the lower court's unfair competition determination, but affirmed on infringement. Warner appealed, and the Supreme Court agreed to review the matter.